items? Those are the best! Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I have a Thrifting Thursday video for you. I am going to insert some of the footage that I took while shopping. It's a little choppy. It was super busy in there. I had like 30 minutes before closing because they close at five o'clock and I wanted to look at as many things as I could before they closed. So I'm going to go ahead and let you see the chop along piece of that and then I'll come back and let you see what I actually got. As soon as I walked in the door, I noticed this beautiful display of china. And I am really drawn to all the different patterns of china that are out there with the beautiful floral patterns. I love this yellow and navy. I thought that was beautiful, but we definitely don't use china every day in our home. In looking around, I saw this picture. I really like the light blue colors and the vibrant red flowers. And then I turned around and there was also a very large matching sugar dish. So since it was a set and it was 50% off day, I did pick it up. I noticed this really pretty set of coasters with a M on them and went to pick them up and almost dropped the last one because the last one was not in the taped set, but I was unable to make out the mark on the back or any of the writing. Even when I tried to zoom in, I couldn't make that out, so I passed on those, but those were really pretty. Again, picking up any type of cream or sugar dish there. Moving on to the plates, sorry it's very choppy, but I was trying to look at everything and get out of everyone's way. It was really busy on this day, and I looked at this plate here because it reminded me of a plate that my great-grandmother had. Now her plate was blue. I love the crazing and everything on this plate. Her plate was a blue color and this was a green color but they had a ton of plates here. And I was trying to look at all of the stacks to see if just the edges would stick out to me, but there were so many. And again, it was really busy in there this particular day.
guess it's never too early for Easter or Valentine's Day. Again, anything you could get in this bag on Thrifting Thursdays is 50% off. So challenge accepted. I put on the thumbnail and I'll insert here a picture of my bag to show you how I did sort of like a thrifting Tetris, as my friend Christine said, to get everything in the bag. And yes, anything goes and it all counted. So I got everything that I'm about to show you for 50% off. It's a really long receipt, but I didn't get very many things and I only spent $30. So let's get started and let me show you what I got on Thrifting Thursday last week. The first item that I'm going to show you is a beautiful little mug. I love the butterfly on there and the fall colors. This was, I think it was 50 cents. It says, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old things passed away. Behold, new things have come. 2 Corinthians 5.17. And I love this mug. It's beautiful for fall, but it's also fabulous, especially as a gift for someone who has recently been baptized or received Christ. So I picked this up because I just loved what it said. The next thing that I got was a set, it's only three, but it is a set of three glass coasters with a poinsettia in the center of them. And so there are only three of them, but I believe the whole set was 25 cents. So I like those. Um, let's see, what else? I also got a wall planter and I just love this. It's flat on the back. I want to say this one was a dollar, so it was marked two dollars, as you can see. Look at the beautiful colors in that. It has some gold. I love the shape, but I really do like that. So it is a wall planner, and again, I paid a dollar for that. Actually, this I saw and I loved, and I got up there and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, but it doesn't have a price on it. It's just a set of two little stacking boxes, but I really love the little vintage looking Santas on there, doing an, a, a little kick line, but it had a big one and then it had a little one. And she says, oh, that's one of your free items. Free items? Those are the best. Um, and so I said, thank you so much. But this would look great just stacking and having something Christmas here. Um, but I thought this was pretty for um, a vignette or even to help display some of my sweet treats at our upcoming market that we're going to have. Um, I got another free item and I got it because it was in the Ziploc that had these pictures in it. And I was really drawn to the cards. Um, and these are actually the same card. They're really pretty, but on the back, it says teacher's prayer. I just loved those and they're really pretty. 
great little paper and there's a bunch of them but this too was a free item I picked up three of these glasses now two of them are the same and one of them is different so I got two of these little coca-cola holly hobby um, picking Christmas holly is the name of these glasses and there's two in this set and then this one is a little bit different. This is one of four from 1977. This is Merry Christmas. It's also, um, it just says Christmas is fun for everyone. It doesn't say Holly Hobby, but it does on the back say Merry Christmas. And it's a limited edition, one of four from 1977. So I just thought those were really cute little Christmas glasses. I've been getting a lot of Christmas glasses lately. And I will say this, these glasses are got some really good weight to them another single glass that i got i just picked this up and it's a walt disney glass and on the bottom from the inside you can read that it says like 100 years of fun um you have to read it from the bottom but it has lots of the vintage looking um characters from and colors from several of the Disney movies. There's Pinocchio, there's Dumbo, there's Bambi, there's Tinkerbell. But the paint loss is very minimal, if any, on this. But look at little Dumbo, how cute is he? <laughs> but um, it's Chip and Dale. I loved this glass and I don't know anything about it. It was the only one that they had and it is a very heavy glass. Um, but again, if you look inside of there, you can see that it does have um, the embossing on the bottom that you read from the inside of the glass. I'll have to look at it more closely just to see if there was any kind of date on that. One of the bigger pieces that I got was this Mama Jamma. Um, now, all of her foliage will have to go, but I did like the little head planter here it is made in china it is a wall pocket it's just that it's a lot going on it's a lot <laughs> so we'll have to take that uh, that off but i did love the little face on her i thought she had great detail she had no chips or cracks and and no crazing she even had those holes <laughs> but um yes i'll have to take Let's see. Oh, it comes out. Whew, won that battle. But look, how cute is that? Now, with one of those spiral plants coming down, I think that would be a little bit more manageable. But the other was a bit much. But I really liked her. I don't know anything about her. She was marked $5, so I got her for $2.50. So that was a good deal. We'll put this back temporarily. All right, let's see what else I got. I did pick up this little, I think it's a home co piece. Um, it was $2, but I do love the scene. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to sell this one or keep it for myself, but I love a nativity scene. It is a beautiful plate. It is raised. It's got some great watercolors in there, precious little scene, and I like it a lot. I got it for $2. It is a home co piece. But um, I, I love a manger scene. I, that's one of my favorite things at Christmas. Another bowl that I got um, is actually, it, I think it's penicillin, but it's not pronounced that. So all of my Jewish friends, please forgive me. Um, it's a type of soup. It's a chicken soup, but this is the bowl. And it's Jewish. It's not penicillin, I don't think, but that's the way it's spelled. Um, but this particular bowl is used, there's an actual recipe, and I did find the recipe. It's like a chicken and rice or a chicken and pasta soup. Um, it is a Jewish dish, uh, but they only had one of these. But I thought, how cute would that be to put the dry goods in there and the recipe to give as a Hanukkah gift? Um, that would be super cute. And I think I may stage it like that at the market coming up. The other plates that I got are, I thought these were super cool. Um, I love anything that depicts the Four Seasons, and I found some plates that I showed in a previous video of the Four Seasons. 
but these are in German. So I am guessing that this is for fall. This plate has a marking of 1982 and it is all in German. Made me think of Patrick, trusty huckster mercantile. I think his daughter studies or speaks fluent German. And, um, but I loved the little fall plate. Again, that was fall. This is winter. This one is 1983 on it as well. And, oh, now this one is 1981. So maybe they put them out every year. This, maybe this is summer. Yeah, this one has to be summer. I'll have to look it up. And then this one must be spring. But they were in excellent condition. This one says 1980. So maybe it was a plate a year because this one says 1980 on it. This one says 1981 on the back. So if you speak German um, or know anything about these plates, put it in the comments below. Um, again, I love to learn about new things. This is the 1982. This one is marked 1982. And I got each one of these plates for a dollar. And then this one is 1983. So they do need to be washed up a bit, but other than that, they're great. They do look hand painted. When you look at them in the light, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but you can actually see the brush strokes in there. So they do look hand painted. Again, I don't know anything about these, so if you know anything about either the maker or um, I'm guessing this says the winter, <laughs> Um, then let me know in the comments below. I'd love to read a comment from you and learn some more. So the next thing that I got was this really cool, I got it for $1.50. Um, I just like this. It's a tea kettle. I think it's a tea kettle. It was marked $3. Now it says on the bottom stainless. I think it says totally, but I could be wrong. But I think it's a water pitcher. I, I can't, I'm not going to take this off, but I need to look into this a little bit. It's pretty heavy. It's got some weight to it. So, and it's pretty thick, especially on the bottom. So I thought this was really cool. I like the design of it. Um, I'm going to look it up again. If you know something about this or you know what this is or who made this, um, let me know. It was marked $3. And again, I got it for 50% off. So I only paid $1.50. So that was a really good deal. I got a single amber little, I think these are called goblets, but it's really not goblet style to me. But um, I liked the color. I thought maybe with an air plant or some potpourri or something like that in a little vignette. It's got some great weight on it. I do not see any markings whatsoever on it, but I love the little amber color, especially for the fall. So I picked that up and I think it was 50 cents. I did get a beautiful blue vase that just says on the bottom, Japan. If you can see that. And it is a beautiful blue color and it has some gorgeous irises in there. Now, where I am from, it is like we are well known for our iris garden, Swan Lake Iris Garden in South Carolina. Um, and so they have tons of varieties of irises. So I thought this was really pretty. There were no chips, no cracks, no anything on this beautiful vase. And I love the blue color. I love blue. That's one of my favorite colors. So the next thing that I got was, it's really heavy. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I really liked it and I got it for $2. But it is this beautiful green ceramic egg that does have three feet on which to sit and you open it up like this. Um, it is all, it looks like a watercolor with a glaze on it, but this is the front with a little bunny and some flowers with the tree. That's the top of the egg. 
Now this is the inside, but the bottom has this very same effect right here. It's not cracked. It looks like it was added. Like, I, I'm not, I don't really know how to say that. But it doesn't seem, there's no crack or anything on the outside. Um, the same with the inside of the bottom. Now the bottom has the feet and it also has, I'll turn it this way, but it has the same print on it. It's just the bottom with the feet. Doesn't have a mark or anything on it, so it could have been a novice piece, but I thought this was really cute. It does fit perfectly with the lid closed on there and it makes a little egg shape. So it could be a homemade piece, but I still like it nonetheless. Um, and it sits up on its three little feet. All right, I only got, the goal is gonna be not to break that because I'm determined to knock it off this table. I only got five other pieces. Um, I got a set, it must have been the German day, but this looks like a large, I wanna say it's a sugar, but I'm not sure. It doesn't have any kind of spoon for it to be anything else. This one was $3, so I paid $3, it was marked six. Um, and it does have the same marking and word. I'll have to look that word up because quite frankly, I don't know what it is. But it does have, the lid is taped, so this is the inside. But it's a beautiful pale blue color with some gold trim around it. And um, I really liked that. And then when I looked over and it had the matching picture, I, I liked it even more, <laughs> but it's the same pattern in this. Now this picture, I got it for $2.50, $2.50. Um, it's in great shape. There is none of the transfer or anything missing, no paint, no chips, no cracks on either one of those, but those I thought were a beautiful blue color. They were in great shape. Total I paid $5.50 for the set. Um, and I really like that. Again, I know nothing about this, so if you know what that says, it looks like A-Z-U-C-A-R, and there's an accent over the U, but this is a pale blue color. If you can see it with the gold um, accents around the rims and on the handle, the handles have great detail. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. See the detail in the handle? and around the top and even the little top of the, I'm calling it a sugar, but that would be a really big cream and sugar. I like a lot of cream and sugar in my coffee, so maybe this is perfect. Um, the next thing that I got, I actually got two, they're different, but I got two, they are little redware Japan. It is marked Japan on the bottom, little redware teapots. This is one side of one of them. I love the shape of this. It is beautifully hand painted. It does have the little lid, but I, again, I like the shape. It was an oval shape. Um, it has the little tiny lid that goes with it. In this, there were no chips or cracks. Great detail in the little, the top and the lid right here. No chips or crack. There's a little bit of like a manufacturer or a gold. I think it's gold that Kim is coming down right here. Let's see, it looks like there was gold. But I just love that. And it's got a raised paint to that. But I love the design of that. And I got that for $3. It was Mark 6 with 50% off. The other one that I got is a much larger teapot. Standard kind of shape. I love the little square handle here. Um, and it has a really big lid the round knob there and it is redware it also is hand painted it has this design on this side and then it has even more flowers on this side again it is made in Japan if you can see that there and I did notice there is a teeny tiny chip right here at the spout now looking dead on it i really didn't see it but i did feel it with my with my finger and there is a there is actually a chip there but um it was marked i believe five dollars so i got this for 250 um and 
I just thought it was pretty. I had never found a Redware teapot before, so I went ahead and picked that up. Last thing that I got was a cute little picture. Look at this sassy little girl <laughs> with her big red bonnet. She's cute. Getting her picture made. This was $2 with 50% off, so I paid a dollar for this. It is older. You can tell, well, we can tell by the fact that one, um, it's not super, super, super old, and that's because they use cardboard as the backing, but someone could have replaced the backing. I don't know anything about the picture, um, and I do not see any, any name or anything on the picture, and, um, but I just thought she was cute. A pop of red is really cute there. So I got a lot of stuff for $30. Again, remember everything that I could fit in my bag was 50% off. I did get two things that were free items. That's a bonus. Um, but I got a lot of good things. There's a toss up between what is my favorite. I think ultimately the, my favorite is the four seasoned plates. Um, that are German. Now, I don't know anything about Germany. I don't speak German <laughs> or anything, but I just love the pictures and the detail in each one of these pictures. And again, there was all four of those, and each one has a different year on it. So I'll need to do some investigation to find out. But I think ultimately this one, um, this little set was my favorite. I did love the little wall pocket here. I love the colors in that. That actually matches the living room. Hmm. May have to keep this one too. I, I really do like this too. I love this little bowl. And if I could just tie the um, recipe with ribbon to add it to the bowl, that would be pretty. But I'm very pleased with everything that I got. I do wanna get some more information about this piece. So again, if you know anything about this piece, let me know. Um, so I love everything I got. Again, I keep saying that, but I do. Um, and it was, again, only $30 for everything on Thrifting Thursday at our Pennywise stores, um, and they benefit the Women's Center in our county. So I know where two of them are. My goal is to find where some more are so I can scope those out. But thanks for watching, and um, make sure that you tune in next Tuesday for another haul video. I still have several hauls to go through and film for you all, and I will be going live with my first live sale with Patrick. Trusty Huckster Mercantile is hosting a four sellers, one sale, um, on October the 15th. So that is a Thursday night, I believe. So make sure you follow Patrick on Instagram and YouTube to get more information about the time of the sale. And I look forward to seeing you guys there at the sale because there are going to be some awesome things. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you click that notification bell so that you will know when I've posted a new video or when I go live. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.